Welcome back, everyone. Last time, we were looking for attractions, but let's talk to Mr. Receptionist Doll first. This is the prize exchange. Please inform me if you have any, if you have business. What would you like me to answer? What are you? I'm a receptionist doll, here to support you in your time living on the third floor. I can trade and explain the prizes. About prize types? There are two types of prizes. Prizes with blue numbers and prizes with red numbers. Blue numbers are normal. You can trade for them using that number of tokens. Prizes with red numbers are exclusive. You can only trade for them using tokens of the person related to the prize. KG's personal information using KG's tokens. What would you like me to answer? Escape ticket. There is nothing of that sort here. Nothing here, huh? What would you like me to answer? That's it. So, victim video. Sleazy. No. I don't have any, do I? Oh, and this is how you find that the tokens. We have 100 me tokens, zero clear chips, and then if you go down, you can see everybody else's numbers. Isn't that nice? Okay, this is an easy ticket. Limited quantity, one left. Having it lowers the difficulty of attractions. Oh, I should get that, but I won't. And then you can buy clear chips. Maybe I'll need to think about clear chips when it's time to clear attractions. Okay, let's sick of listening to her talk like this. My miss now, you're looking rather down. Professor, if you are fine with an AI, I can gladly talk with you. Professor, can we talk a little? Oh no. And then, Professor. Yes, I see, is that so? Oh boy lobby. <laughs> I got caught in a loop before of going from the lobby to the prize exchange because I didn't know you have to go like to the lobby specifically. Relaxation room? Nothing. Great. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad I did that. Don't go back to the monitor room. Jesus. Oh, what was that I supposed to do? I'm supposed to be like looking for attractions, right? Am I crazy? Station room, monitor room, your bedroom. Just go back to my room. What do you want from me, game? Because it said you're going to look for attractions. Do I have to click on stuff? Oh, am I dumb? I think I might be dumb. This is what I did. Here it is. Yeah, I'm just like derp the derp. The monitor screen is cracked. It's not because I don't notice that the monitor screen is cracked. It's that I'm used to that being cracked. <laughs> Whose monitor is this? Wait, sorry. Hey, hey, wasn't this totally fine before? Whose monitor is this? What's going on? Like a back. The photo has been ripped off. Someone's photo must have been here. Mishima, did you see the one who destroyed the monitor? I'm terribly sorry. I'm afraid I didn't. Come to think of it, I haven't seen so. Him again? Damn it. What the hell is he after? Reko's the easiest voice because I can just be outraged. Hmm. Look for attractions or look for so. What do you think, Sarah? I'll... We're going to find so. I'm going to kick his ass. <laughs> I... <laughs> I feel like we can't let him roam free. That's true, sheesh. Would love to throw some cuffs on him and lock him up. Uh, could all of you focus on attractions while I look for so? Could you shut your fucking mouth? <laughs> I, uh, my hatred for her may be irrational. But, like, you fuck with the enemy. I don't fuck with you. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Kana. Kana looked directly in awe. It's natural for you to hate Kana, but she'll at least keep an eye on So. Um, we're also drinking. So, I might take pauses for that. At least I don't awe into the microphone. Please believe her. Do you hear all those ghosts whispering in the background? No way, Connor! Don't you go near that guy on your own. It's my responsibility. Yeah, but we don't trust you. Connor was working with So. Or maybe she was just being used. I'm going to 
going with you, bitch. No, I'm going with you. Sarah. If it's only Kana, she'll just be used by So again. Hey, putting it like that ain't... Yeah. <laughs> Reko's like, oh, you'll protect her. And Sarah's just like, this fucking bitch. <laughs> you won't trust me. You can do whatever you want. You can piss yourself and look like a cute little girl, but you're a snake. I don't like snake bitches. Stop this, you guys. Huh? All this tension is just what the kidnappers want. Are you dumb or what? I'm dumb. Looking at you is like sisters quarreling. I hate it. Sister? Yeah, Reco. <laughs> just reconcile if only in appearance. The feelings can be appended after the fact. Reconcile. Look, we can reconcile or we can superficially reconcile. I liked the idea of being super, super, superficially reconciling with you. Why? Why am I being so hateful towards Connor? Because I told you to. <laughs> Gail is. Gail told you. Do I get to see what I picked? Reconcile. No? I don't know. No one's done anything wrong here. Um... It's like I'm pinning the reasons for Joe's death on Kana, so, um, uh, I want to point out to, wait, we'll get look, a different music, because this is kind of oppressive in my ears. I, I lost a dear friend, but Kana, you lost your sister. We're all victims here, forced to vote. I know we shouldn't hate each other, but I hate you. And I know Joe's fate was decided as soon as he drew the sacrifice card, but it takes time to get over feelings. So well, I can't get the splinters out of my heart yet. Kana, even if it's only superficial, can we re reconcile? Sarah! Well said, Sarah. And what really pisses me off is Mr. Beanie. <laughs> you just got used by a tube, right, Kana? Don't feel so responsible, all right? That's wrong. Kana tipped the scales. You sure did. See? Even Kana admitted that she fucking sucked. The scales. You fat bitch. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm saying this as a fat woman. Calling someone a fat something, like a fat fuck or your fat bitch, it just feels good. When you hate somebody, it's the letters. Like fire truck, you know? Fucking bitch. I'm just Dennis over here being like, you fat bitch. <laughs> Kai said he had contact with the kidnappers, but he drew the sage card and became the victim. I'm sure that means... He didn't know all the details of the main game. But so, he did know things about the main game. What? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I was taking a break with Sova for the main game. I'm ignoring all of her ellipses because we need to get through this. <laughs> then I found a glowing card behind the sliding door in the bar. What's that? Sacrifice? You ought to toss that. Dead hole. Ah, uh, uh, there's a zone. If someone finds out you have the card, you die. Did it say something like that? Relax, that's a dummy rule. What? Seems the kidnappers want to distribute one of the cards to each person. Anyway, that's a dangerous card. Trust me and hand it over, okay? I'm pissed. So it is a dummy rule. And the reason for it is pretty simple. If you accidentally go around picking up a bunch of cards, you know, it would dissuade you from adding another one to your pile. However, I don't like this game. And not, not, okay. <laughs> the, the death game inside of the game, your turn to die. I don't like it very much because I already don't trust, um... The dolls or anything anymore. I'm done with that. Let's drink. Oh my god. It's cold. I gave Sol the sacrifice card. And so gave me a commoner card. He let me know about the main game that was going to happen. And about a strategy to survive. Everything was the way so explained it. That's why I caught up. Should be left alive. Ooh, you just said some words. Is that what happened? I love Sarah so much. So, 
Kana wasn't necessarily just being used by so. Dummy rule. Can't prove it though. Look at his little triangly nose. No, hold on. That secret room where Kai's laptop was. Well, so is still knocked out after being attacked by now. I saw a card under the desk. I didn't see what card it was, but that was So's sacrifice card. It's strange he didn't die for me finding it. We wish. Get shorted. It really is a dummy rule. Meow. That's kind of strange, Wolf. Because that loner got knocked out before the loner and Bucket Girl rested. Meow. Isn't the order weird, Wolf? But Bucket Girl, that's you, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. I really do hate her. Ugh. What was the order? Um, so got it first. This is just a theory, supposing that card I didn't inspect with the sacrifice card, but... First, so was attacked in the hidden room and fainted. Afterward, he got the sacrifice card and commoner card and arrested. Purposefully placed the sacrifice card for Kana to find. And then... Kana... <laughs> when Kana took it, so offered to trade for a commoner card. <laughs> as if to put her in its debt. That can't be! Sure enough, that damn beanie guy was completely using Kana. That's not the only thing. The sacrifice card ultimately ended up with Joe. Meaning maybe he purposefully had Joe pick it up. Mm -hmm. God damn it, I'm gonna take that guy out! <laughs> Thank you, Reko. Come on, let's all search together. <laughs> yep. See? Fuck you, Kana. Nobody trusts your bitch ass. I'm mad. I am oh angry. <laughs> oh angry. I hate her. People that betray others are worse than just evil people that won't side with anyone. Damn it, I keep hitting the that. Trying to go into the ruined corridor. Oh, let's pretend for a second. Oh. Okay. So one of the things that I hate about Joe. <laughs> this dead character that I just said that I love. <sighs> he wanted people not to vote for him when he was the sage, right? That couldn't be considered... Like, if people considered him to be the sage, he told people not to vote for him. And no one did vote for him. He got the two votes from himself. And I, it sucks. Because if he'd said that he was the sage and that was it, then maybe... He could have escaped with Sarah, but he chose not to. If he had wanted to survive, we'd be out of this by now. Sarah could go back to living her regular life. We didn't know any of these people. A green beanie lays on the floor, except for the stalker. <laughs> Is this So's hat? But he would have died and everybody else would have too, anyway. He's gotta be lurking oh my god. He's gotta be lurking around here. Hey! Down the passage to the right, and the one in the back. It looks like there's attractions, meow. <laughs> Don't tell me so when I head alone. You shouldn't be able to enter without a group of two, but... Ultimately, maybe somebody's just gotta check. Alice there? I'm going. I'll go. What will you, Sarah? You coward. <laughs> Seems pointless to try and stop you, but you better decide which attraction to do. And who to take along to. I'll take you along, <laughs> oh my god. Hang on a second. I'm hot as fuck. I'm taking off my hoodie. Oh, I go from extremely hot to cold. Well, I am drinking, so it kind of makes sense. I'm cold. But I'm just try trying to keep it together. Alright. Oh no. Hard card battle. This sounds like a fucking... <laughs> so I did play a bunch of this before I'm recording it now, and uh, <laughs> I said this last time too, charge card reminds me of like uh, credit cards. Uh, what is this? A card game where you battle opponents by selecting three cards at a time. Oh, this is easy as hell. Um, Hutaro makes it hard. If you partner with me, I'll take, I'll trade ten me coins. No. Ginibushi! Sometimes cheers to recover help. I love you, Beach. Um, and then there's KG. He makes it easy? God. Get 
get you a man that makes your mini games easy. <laughs> Not by the select screen either. Oh, I gotta pick. Um, memory. Oh no. Oh no. Last time when I tried to record, I actually did a separate clip of me winning the memory dance and I just cut all the times that I failed. We do memory dance. We absolutely have to take Brecko because she makes it easy. And this is the hardest one. Actually, she makes it normal. It's very hard. It's the only one of these games that's very hard. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I'm probably gonna cheat. And I don't care what you think. I'm gonna write on this Jehovah's Witness letter that I was giving, <laughs> that I was giving <laughs> written to my household. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you exactly when I cheat too, so you guys know what's up. Hell yeah, this is my strong suit. You're in good hands, Sarah. Leave this attraction to us. Everyone else, search the rest. Guys, if you find so, be plenty careful. Oh, I'll kill him. <laughs> that family guy where it's like, oh, you be careful. Next time, we'll kill him. That was the one where they lose Stewie. And get him back with a Prada bag. Anyway. Alright. Have fun out there. I'm gonna do my best. This is easy as hell. You'll see. Okay. Up, down, left, right, and body. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Body, down, body. Yeah. Right, left, right, left, body. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, bitches, we're back. Um, what, would, what I wanted to say last time, did I talk about this? I think I did, how Joe kind of pushed to be not voted for so that he would die automatically. I said that right. I'm pretty sure I did. Anyway, I suck. I need like 100% concentration for that game. So I played it a couple times. What the hell is this? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, seems just the right side to carry size to carry and swing around. Damn it's chair. <laughs> you don't mean so brutally and horribly attacked again. So it's collapsed on the floor. It's the same situation, meow, as before. Sure is. See KG's not having none of that. <laughs> Don't worry, he's breathing. I'm worried. I'm worried that he is breathing. On his head, those splinters. It looks like somebody sprinkled wood on him. The same- the scene truly was the same as the one I just recalled. The same as when So attacked me in the hidden room. Ugh. I don't know. So! Ooh. Ow, oh, man, I feel awful. <laughs> Kick him while he's down. What in the world happened? Uh, th that's what I want to know. All right, get ready for this shit. I'm pissed already. <laughs> Where is this place? When did I get here? <laughs> Cram it, you bastard. Like hell, anyone's going to worry about you now. Thank you, Rekko. What are you plotting? Tell me. Ooh, hold on. Now, now. Violence isn't the answer, Rekko. Violence is the question, and the answer is yes. Especially right now. I fucking... Mm. Oh, drink about it. <laughs> what is it? You're so mean suddenly. So. What's the accusation? The only one that's an accusation. You broke the monitor, didn't you? M monitor? You mean the laptop? But look, I wouldn't break it just because I didn't know the password. What's he saying? Shut the hell up! The laptop crap was all before the main game. The main game! That's right! Before the main game, I need to... I need to check the data on the laptop with the password. Oh. <laughs> you completely lost your mind, man. The main game's long since ended. <sighs> Have to burp. What do you mean, KG? <laughs> Over. All of it. Ooh. Who died? See, this is such a question, right? <laughs> huh? So? What is So talking about? <gasps> Who isn't here? Now? Hey, don't tell me your memories. Or else, was it Kai? Stop. Stop. 
Stop it already. It can't be! Joe! Stop. Stop. Miss Tara, that can't be it, right? Joe! Joe died? Why? Stop! 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 Okay, that scared me so much. It scared me so much. Oh, I need a second to like breathe. <laughs> I should have known that that was coming, but I did, I did not. Oh no, all right. So we know So's a dickhead because he saved Joe for last. He could have been like, did Joe die? Did Kai die? No. But you know what I mean? He saved it to the end just to torture her more. So. If you want to believe that the soul completely lost his memory, go ahead. I think he's a dick. I thought he was dick the first time. I think he's a dick now. <laughs> so. <laughs> my opinions stay constant. You okay, Sarah? Yes, I'm fine. Great. Goddamn piece of shit. He's spouting more stupid lies. I love Reco. You know what? <laughs> the first time I played this game, I was like, oh, okay, G. You know what? I'll take Reco. I'll take either of them over anybody else in this game. Everybody else can die as long as I can have one of those two. Three? I can have both of them. I just like how angry she is. So they're really alive? Yes. Obviously, he's at a disadvantage, so he's pretending he doesn't remember. That said, he's not going to answer us like that either. C could you trust Kana to handle it? Kana. I'll try to find the truth behind what So's thinking. I'm sure he'll be less weary with me than the rest of you. Sounds good. What the hell are you on about? This guy's like a bad influence on Kana. We've been underestimating Kana, I'd say. I don't think so. I think she's a total bitch, and I think... She's conniving, and I think she's evil, and I think she's bad, and I don't like her. <laughs> she might be a stronger girl than we thought, but she's not, though. Mr. Policeman! <laughs> but don't let him use you, Kana. Adults with bad intentions are scarier than you can imagine. Right. I ain't gonna accept it, I just... Let's believe, Reko. I don't. Kana. What do we do now, meow? We got three whole days. No use rushing the attractions and hurting ourselves. Might be wise to discuss how we're going to use these tokens, too. Tokens, meow. Negotiation. It's exactly what it sounds like. You can... Tokens or whatever. I have something to say about Reko. What's up? Do you have any inklings about Reko's treasure? Treasure? Hmm. You see, I tried asking that mustachioed man at the prize exchange if there were items not present at the counter. It appears there was a secret prize menu. Secret menu? Ha ha ha. If you wish to hear more, come to the negotiation table, Sarah Chidwin. Is that related to Reko's tre treasure? Sarah, oh, sorry, it's the same thing. Um, what up? Sarah, just to try, just to try it out, want to trade 20 tokens? That's his proposal, so I'm not doing that. Uh, you want tokens, meow? What's your pitch? I've been told not to do this kind of trading money stuff, meow. It's kind of like gambling. It's scary, wolf. So if it'll make you happy, big sis Sarah, I'll give you some for free, meow. 10 tokens. I'm not gonna because KG is giving me Tony. Hey, bitch. Let's do it. Great. Should I pour some coffee? Ew. Uh. <laughs> no thanks. What's this about a trade? It's cold hearted as ever. Just what I said. We trade 20 tokens for experimentation. This word is so much longer than it feels to say. <laughs> Our enemies seem surprisingly serious about following the rules, if nothing else. Even if there was that dummy rule. The more tokens you collect, the better. We can probably trust that's correct. So those who don't get a certain amount of tokens are penalized. Doesn't sound unlikely, does it? Penalized. 
Why trade with me? What if I refuse? Does it have to be 20? Why trade with me, huh? Because you're cute. I wish you'd just remember it already. Once again, that's all he'll say. Plus, they, besides, oh, sorry. My mouth. <laughs> besides, they called it the trust barter game. If I've got to trust somebody, I'm thinking I can trust you, Sarah. Oh! I trust you, Katie. Thanks. <laughs> and to imagine the doubt in your eyes at first. Look at how smiley he is. Sorry. Mm. So you don't deny it, huh? Well, in the end, I'll defer to your wishes. I'm not an extortion kind of guy. What should I do? If I trade 20 tokens, I'll be losing 20 of my own. Should I still go through with the trade? Yes. I said to. Let's trade, KG. Thanks, Sarah. Me token. I wish I had my face on a token. Would that be cute? My hair would be frizzy. Suddenly I remembered something. Is now still there, I wonder? That AI of Professor Mishima. I should go check on her. Now is talking with her gaze fixed on a single point. Now. So then, Professor, while you were gone, it's like my voice isn't reaching her. I guess that's entirely reasonable. If I were in that situation, if it were Joe on the screen then. <gasps> oh, that's so mean. I'm sure I'd be rooted to the spot too. He's so cute. Doesn't matter if he's fake. I just want to, I want to meet him and apologize. I want him to forgive me. I can't help thinking about those things. Oh, as if I'm gonna forgive you. Oh my god, I got a heart attack. <laughs> Calm down. There's no one there. It's just a hallucination. Oh fuck. I fucked. I. Shit. Click, 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 Calm down, gotta stay calm. See, she scared me, I'm sure. Now it's regretful too. <laughs> Wondering if she could have saved me. She might, oh, my heart. Given that, bringing now back to reality is beyond me. I'm sorry. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Before I left the room, I looked toward the monitor one last time. Is that so? It's been nothing but hardship then. However, even among such circumstances, you've made such wonderful friends, Miss Now. Friends? As is the friends who... Indeed, age and the length of your association are of no relevance. They are wonderful people who will help, e who help each other. I understand that clearly hearing you speak. Please treasure your friends, Miss Now. Okay. I've always been getting saved by them. So from now on, I want to be useful to Reko and Sarah and everyone. That's why I'm going on now, Professor. Yes, please come by anytime. I'll be right here. No, I won't come here anymore. Miss Now, you truly have grown strong, haven't you? I'm honored to have had you as my student. Goodbye, Miss Now. Fuck. Oh, look at her. I... I'm not strong at all. I agree. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wanted you to watching me, watching over me always. Professor. I don't really know what Now's personality is like, you know? Now is trying to look forward to accept everything and face reality. Now is a strong person. Much stronger than me. I should go. I'll do what I have to, to so much as approach that strength. Oh god. Ooh. Day one, noon. Oh crap. I think... Shit. <laughs> mm, what's that? Cut the stupid jokes, you! The biggest jokes around <laughs> The biggest joke around here is your name. I love you, Ranger. You <laughs> tired Ranger arguing over what happened. What's up now? There are a lot of passages on this floor too. Seems easy to get lost. 
exploring comes first, you might find something besides attractions. Futaro and Ranger are having a dispute in the middle of the lobby. Damn it, you gotta be screwing with me! Futaro, what's the matter? Sarah, this Ranger guy just said we can't go back to the first and second floors. I mean, you cleared them already, right? Hold on a second, Kai's laptop is down there. Who cares? We'll just confiscate that then. No way. Damn it, it was unmistakably a good thing. That laptop's the last thing I want you guys to take. Oh shit, he fucked off. Sheesh. <laughs> KG. Bet Kutara wants to find the truth about Kai. Also, <laughs> KG's just so, like, lazy. He's lazy about it. About Kai. What a troublesome guy, leaving mystery after mystery. Is Kai a good person? Person? I wonder if Kai was a good person after all. Some aspects oh, some aspects suggested it. His anger for the victims and resistance against the, against the kidnappers. Was Kai acting for good or for evil? Just whose side was he on? Look at his eyes smile. We ended up making Kai a victim without knowing anything about him. But we can make inferences. Please smile. Inferences. Friend or foe, let's consider. <laughs> Friend or foe, let's consider the possibilities. Maybe someday I can get my testicles to drop. First, Kai confessed to having some contact with the kidnappers. Oh, so one possibility is that Kai is with the baddies. Damn it. Look at director of the death game, for instance. Yet yeah, Kai drew the stage card and died. Oh, so in his last moments, he said he entrusted me as hopes. I can't imagine him as an enemy. Incidentally, Sarah, you really didn't have any acquaintance with Kai. Tell him about the stalking thing. No, nope. it just doesn't come up. No. Oh. <laughs> then how about this one? Something like Kai betrayed the kidnappers. He was executed as an example. He did sock my. He did sock Miley after all. Hmm. Probable? Po it's probable. It's possible he earned their wrath, but maybe that's not it. Then here's the next possibility. Probably the best one, right? Kai was on our side, but had some sort of communication with the kidnappers. Though in the same situation as all of us, he did dealings or missions in the shadows. Missions like what? You remember the first trial everyone took, right? Yes, that game where I was tied to a bed and we had to find the key. It wasn't the same for everybody. Didn't Kutaro say so? Uh, yes, for Kutaro, tri the trial was just to carry the box with Miley's head. Ah, is that what you mean by missions? Yup. In short, Kai must have also been entrusted with a different mission. Like, ensnare the other participants. No way. <laughs> In other words, he was being manipulated like a disposable pawn. God! There's one more. A very slight possibility, but one your friendly policeman would like to hope for. What? The possibility we've got an ally on the side of the kidnappers. I mean, they use the exact same, like, shape of the sprite for it, but let's keep going. In other words, there's a traitor among them, trying to destroy the get death game from the inside. That person was in contact with Kai, and had him assist with the plan. Well, Sarah, think that's out of the question? One of the kidnappers is our ally. It's possible. I have no proof that could fully deny it, but... Looks like you can't... Oh my god. <laughs> Looks like you can't wrap your head around it. There are clearly some illogical aspects, so... Well, that's all just my hope anyhow. Could be interesting if Miley was related to this, though. <laughs> KG. So, look at me, you made him frown. <laughs> I was just thinking... What organization could do... Has there been a similar case? There hasn't been a past case similar to this death game, has there? There is. Why are you smiling about that? <laughs> what? 
It was decades ago, apparently, but I've read the files. There was a battle for influence between major crime rings. At the time, the police were putting their all into exterminating these organizations. Those living in the shadows had it pretty rough, so crime rings started laying waste to their own. But if you're just gonna mutually destroy each other, it's better to join hands, they thought. And so they executed a plan to unify the crime rings into one monolith in the ways of violence they're so adept at. Don't tell me that was... Yes, a death game. A mutual slaughter with the rules. Scary stuff. The representatives had a grand battle and only one person survived. That survivor reigned at the top of the criminal society. I think it was called the Hades Incident. Hades Incident. Shot to the top of the criminal underworld, hence Hades Incident. But ultimately, the organization collapsed afterward, so you think. Justice always prevails, the police do their jobs sometimes, right? America. <laughs> this sentence? America. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Oh, oh, I love this part. I love this part. How relevant is that to this? Why didn't you mention it? Who cares? Good boy. <laughs> you did well. Don't mention it. I don't like being treated. <laughs> don't mention it. I don't like being treated like a dog. In that case, no treats for you. If we make it out alive, I might accept some. More importantly, we better get moving. <laughs> Ranger was mentioning that all of the attractions have opened up are all around here, blah, blah, blah. Is that so? Think it'd be good to go look for them? Tell me if I can help out with something. The, this policeman will be your partner, Sarah. Partners in life? Partners in crime? I'm satisfied with both. The attractions, I'll go look around. <laughs> I love that so much. I got so excited about it. Okay. <laughs>